you know what? It's uh, nearly time for a snack, so I'm kind of getting a bit hungry. Uh, so let me ask you, uh, do you prefer to eat spicy food or a little bit of a bland kind of food? Uh, well, uh, I used to love spicy food uh, when I was younger, like uh, spicy ramen from Korean. But recently I decided to uh, get on a diet, so I prefer the plant food, which is much more clean and leaner. Ah. Yeah. So in your house, uh, does your mom or dad cook spicy food? Uh, actually, I am a cook of my house. Oh, wow. So I'm the one who decides to cook uh, what my family is going to eat for a day. Do you think that people are quite healthy these days or starting to think about health like you? Not really, because you see, you can easily get drunk food outside, like McDonald's, KFC, but it's really hard to get any clean food outside. Uh, uh, it's hard to say, but I don't think people love healthy food. Do you ever eat junk food? Yes, of course, when I was young. KFC is my favorite, mm. but now uh, boiled chicken breast is my uh, dish. Oh wow, so yeah, this is a pretty serious diet, okay. Yeah. Yes. So what kind of diet are you trying out? Oh, I try the eat clean one. Mm -hmm. I mean it's low in ca ca carbohydrate, but high in protein uh, because I have uh, participate in a gym. So my PT, personal trainers, asked me to have the food on his plan. And then, uh, how long have you been doing this for now? Uh, actually, it's about, I mean, three weeks, I guess. Yeah, and I think it's, I used to struggle at the beginning, but now it's okay. Do your friends uh, want to try this as well? Uh, I don't think they want to try it because at my age, uh, student gonna like uh, Korean food has a lot of spice and fat and so on they don't like anything like less salt or have a plant taste so should we move on to the next part now yes part two are you ready are you ready uh, yeah of course okay so here's the question here can you read it out loud all right so Nan, yeah. since we're here in book street I'd like you to describe a book you read that you found useful or interesting. You should say when you read it, what type of book was it, and what is it about? Why did you find it useful or interesting? Yeah, okay, I got it. And here's a note and a pencil for you. You have one minute to get here. So Good I gotta sit here? Yeah, yes. you can sit here. Okay. So, can I have a look? That's sure. A hmm. How should I approach this kind of question? Well, in this kind of question, you already have uh, here, you have some clues. So you can always underline, let's say, the key questions. So you know what you can start talking about. A lot of people start drawing like, let's say, like a little quadrant. And then you know that that's on the first part, you talk about when, what. So that sort of thing could work. Or you can just list it down. Or you can just imagine. That works. And, and should I use a lot of idioms in my speech? Oh. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Really? Don't. Because, you know, if it is an idiom that is appropriate, then yeah, maybe drop in one or two. But if you pepper it with, uh, let's say, idioms that aren't really appropriate for the topic, you're just going to sound strange. Okay, so the tip is to use the words that you really understand. You really or understand else you may sound and dumb. is good for the topic. Hey, time's up. You ready? Yeah, kind of. Okay. All right. Can you start speaking uh, now? Okay, so uh, hi. I would like to illustrate my favorite book. I mean, the book that I found it interesting. Actually, I'm not a book lover, so that I hardly ever, hardly ever read any books before. But during the COVID pandemic, uh, I had more time, and so I decided to like have a challenge for myself uh, by finish book. Uh, but uh, so that's book called How Money Works. Uh, compare with other, I mean, verbal display books. 
this one is different. It's gonna demystify many processes and answers a lot of uh, financial questions, but in graphic charts and diagrams. Yeah, it also explain many economic theories such as uh, cash flow, stocks, uh, business, and so on. Uh, on the other hand, it also uh, show the organization of the financial market, the way how the government control the money flow. Yeah, you know, uh, because as my future business, uh, I mean, sorry, as my future major is business, so this book is really useful for me. Uh, anyway, I hi highly recommend this book for those who have taken a vivid interest in economy and finance like me. Thank you. Okay, well, come on. Let's uh, get up and stretch so that we can continue walking around this nice street. Yeah. Okay, so we were talking about books, right? Well, what kind of books do you think are popular with people your age in Vietnam? Well, at my age, I think other friends would want to prefer uh, novels, mm -hmm. the romantic ones or the fiction ones, uh, which a, I mean, attractive story mm -hmm. and uh, handsome guys or beautiful girls in that. Uh, but I'm kind of different. I don't like reading, so I it's kind of hard for me to imagine. So I choose. I normally gonna choose the economy and finance related books. Okay. Yeah. And so, do you think that older people and younger people prefer different kinds of books? Because, like you've said, uh, it seems like you're starting to think about your future. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, at my age, because I mean, there's of course has a uh, generation disparity. Yeah. So the way that youngster and the older, the old like books are completely different. Uh, the young gonna prefer the the more unrealistic one. I mean, <laughs> the novel and the stories. But the older uh, prefer they gonna prefer something like economy which could uh, help directly help their uh, I mean their work their career seeing that we're around physical books oh how popular are physical books in Vietnam I think the print book the physical one uh, has played an important role in the book lover yeah uh, but the now today, the digital one is much more popular because of its convenience and the priceless. Thank you. Congrats on conquering your IELTS speaking test. Now it's time to study IELTS.